Australia is one of the lowest users of bikes in the world, with only 2% of people riding their bikes to work during weekdays in 2018. Compared with 74% of people using a personal vehicle and 18% using the train. Cars are responsible for 18% of all greenhouse gas pollution in Australia. A moving car takes up 28 times more space than a moving bike, and parking a bike takes up 10 times less space than a car. Not only are bikes a more environmentally friendly mode of transport, comprising of only 16 grams of CO2 per kilometre per person, but they also encourage the planning of cities that are walkable and strategically planned to have adequate amenities encouraging the uptake of cycling. As team designers, our project is looking at how we can increase the uptake of cycling within Melbourne, focusing on the National Employment Innovation Cluster in Sunshine by the year 2050. We are also focusing on how we can create safer, more efficient and better connected cycling routes for all. Our process included first observing roads and bike lane configurations in Melbourne. We then conducted continued site analysis of the Sunshine area and Brimbank proposed cycle routes, a continuation of research done during our design studio class. Next, we started to conceptualise configurations and various scenarios for 2050, based on our research. 3ds Max was then used as our main program for visualising these scenarios. The scenarios were existing cycle routes, on-road and off-road proposed routes, a utopian car-free city, a utopian flying car city. Each of these scenarios consisted of three site sections, strategically selected from the larger overall Sunshine and Albion site model. In this existing video done through TieFlow and 3DS Maps, you can see the simulation showing how pedestrians and cyclists are far too close to each other to make for safe and efficient transit. The cars as well are also very close to the bike paths and there does not seem to be much connection between the building lots themselves, amenity and the existing routes around the site. For these scenarios, we explored separation of programs and possible safety interventions needed at grade in order to create a safer environment for pedestrians, bikes and cars. Implementing adequate pedestrian cycle paths encourages individuals to ride or walk to their destinations rather than taking their cars. This city, however, is a car-free city where people don't even have the option of taking their cars. This site demonstrates the crucial benefit of a cycle and pedestrian only city, which enables for a more sustainable city, maximising permeability. Our final solution was looking at how we could have a more utopic society, having pedestrian only and cycle only zones at grade level, meaning that the cars have to take to the skies and the other mode of transport for the public is the elevated rail that would run through the site. By simulating animations and visualizations for each of these scenarios and each of the sections, we were able to compare effectiveness, feasibility and safety. Our ultimate utopia is the flying car city, where cars are given least priority and must take to the skies. 